And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teamer Kiora. Uh, this is a donation deck that looks pretty sweet. As y'all know, I'm a big fan of Kiora Behemoth Beckoner. Um, I like playing large creatures, drawing cards. Just an awesome card. Um, the way that we're doing, uh, the way that we're really taking full advantage of Kiora here is pairing it with Lotus Field, where. When Lotus Field enters, you have to sacrifice two lands, but you can tap it to add three mana. So, like, our goal of our deck is to be able to tap Lotus Field to add three mana, use Kiora's minus one to untap it, and then tap it again to add another three mana, and using that to ramp us to have lots of mana. So what to do with lots of mana? We have these Cavaliers. We got Thorns, Flame, Gales. Um, we also have Niv-Mizzet Perun, which is kind of perfect with that scenario because, you know, you add three blue with one of them, you untap it, then you add three red. So it just kind of works perfectly. But then, yeah, all of these triple um, cost cards with these Cavaliers are very easy to cast. Um, so we're just, you know, kind of ramping into those, drawing cards with Kiora and kind of going from there. We got good interaction with Brazen Borrower or Bone Crusher Giant, you know, two of the really good um, adventure creatures and Bone Crusher Giant. Um, itself is a four power creature, uh, Sphinx of Foresight, also a four power creature. That's a, a pretty strong one that can help set up our early turns. You can see our early turns are really focused on setting up with opt and growth spiral. It looks like we only have growth spiral as a two mana card, but remember brazen borrower, bone crusher giant. Those are basically two mana cards also. And then we can have a repudiate be a two mana card and also repudiate the reason why we have this, like one, you know, the replicate part is pretty cool with all these big creatures. But two, this repudiate counter target activated or triggered ability, whenever we have um, Lotus Field, that's a that's a triggered ability to sacrifice two lands. So if we have, let's say turn three, we have two lands in play. We tap the two lands, float mana. Um, we play Lotus Field. And then instead of sacrificing those two lands, which we would normally have to do, we can cast Repudiate, and then we don't have to sacrifice, and now we have five mana in play on turn three. And so the next turn when we play a land, we got six mana, and we can play Niv-Mizzet already. That's kind of like what our deck's all about. All right, so sideboard, you can see we got some different interaction. Basically, that's what we all... We got um, We got another Niv-Mizzet at the top end for uh, the Counterspell decks, some Love Struck Beasts for early blocker like a, a good sized early blocker and then a bunch of different interaction for different decks. All right. So we're going to, this is a donation deck. So we're going to play through a league. We're going to play till we win five or lose two. our last standard deck before Theros tomorrow. If Theros is going to be out tomorrow. We're, we'll be playing that new format. And so today we're doing a lot of historic, as you can see after uh, this deck today, we're doing three historic decks with the new standard format coming out tomorrow. Hmm. I'm going to keep this. There's no red. I know. I like... If we were on the draw, I would be mulliganing this, but I like kind of having, like, this turn three Kiora on the play and then, you know, setting up for, like, a good turn four where um, by that time, you know, we have our three draw steps. If we draw any... You know, we draw, like, the blue or the uh, green Cavalier by then... Thanks, Storm. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I'll I'll get you a link there. All right. What do we got? Temple of Mystery. Um, as far as a, a mono blue deck, this is a budget mono blue version. Um, that was from a couple of months ago. You know, like all that stuff still legal and standard, of course. Um, and then this is like a month later with a, a little bit less budget version, but... Um, you know, but a more updated list a month later. But hopefully that gives you some ideas. Yeah, 
Yeah, keeping this, like, it wasn't really about, like, the opening hand. It, like, I kept this basically on the... On, like, the... On, like, what the hand could look like. Like, what the... Yeah, what the hand could look like. You know, basically, if we just drew, like, one Cavalier, it's awesome. Um... I don't know, I guess, do they get disconnected, I guess? You're welcome, Hugo. Yeah, I guess my opponent disconnected. That's too bad. We got our Kiora Sleaze to go with our Kiora deck. All right, there we go. And while we're ahead now because of that, it's not like my opponent can't catch up. I mean, I kind of have nothing going on. But they probably weren't happy about the disconnection, it looks like. Um... All right, so should be, you know, turn one, Goose probably means Jun Sacrifice. Right, so we need these Spyglasses to stop Witch's Oven. Um, I'm not sure how much I really want Ether Gust or anything else. Yeah, I'm not sure how much I really want anything else or what I'm what I'm supposed to take out here for this matchup. All my cards seem pretty re reasonable. Um, they can probably block like Cavalier of Flames, Cavalier of Thorns pretty easily. So maybe I just take out Cavalier of Flames, where Thorn because Thorns ramp ramps me. Those cards don't really get through Cauldron Familiars too well. I kind of like like the two flame sweep. Um, I could see playing another Niv Mizzet up at the top end, actually. I'll just keep I'll keep it like this though. Yeah, Brazen Borrower. I was thinking Brazen Borrower can still like you know they have the different permanents that Brazen Borrower can bounce. What do you want, Hawkeye? Okay. Uh, I think we need more lands than one. Hmm. I don't really like putting back another land, but Mountain is kind of my worst land. I guess he wanted to go take Yeah, I guess he wanted to go just take a nap in the closet where it's nice and dark, I guess. There's another mountain. It's still my worst land. Hey, Magma Love. Hello. Getting that resub in here. Thank you so much for sticking with it. And welcome back for another month. No, it's not, Mac. It's regular old standard. Um. Okay. I kind of want to just bounce it with Brazen Borrower, but I guess the best thing is to grow Spiral this turn, and we can grow Spiral plus bounce next turn.
Yeah, sure hoping so too. All right, so yeah, it does look like just a mono green deck. Um, I cut the red Cavalier for the Spyglass. Which is why Mountain is my worst land right now, because I don't have red Cavalier. A Kiara plus Nissa Union? I don't... Kiora? Kiora? Nissa Union? Um, the two cards don't work that well together. As far as I know. Hey, what's up, Matthew? Hmm. Well, we can name Wicked Wolf. So they can't sack food to the Wicked Wolf. Could also name Goose, so they can't make food with Goose. You can still sack food to add mana with Goose. They could have Nyssa in hand. What we could name? The Great Henge. That one's kind of annoying. That one's going to be a problem. Oh, so just using like Kiora and Nissa to to really ramp. Um, yeah, like you can untap. Yeah, you can have like you can like untap the same land a couple of times, like with your forest and stuff. Hmm. It's nothing I've asked for, Matthew. I don't really want one. No, we're doing Theros tomorrow. I don't think I have anything to kill the Great Henge. Like we have, we could bounce it. Hmm. No lands. Not really sure what that attack's about. Okay. All right, well, it's a win. And, um, yeah, four more. Yeah, they forgot about Spyglass. <clears throat>
maybe maybe didn't know what Spyglass did, to be honest. I'm not sure. All right, we can try this. The Grow Spiral. I do feel like this deck probably needs like 27 or 28 lands. This, the 26 doesn't, I'm not sure the 26 is enough, honestly. Cause you like Lotus Field actually kind of requires you to play more lands. Cause you can't, you can't have like a, a two lander with Lotus Field ever. And then just how high the curve is anyway. And also like three different colors. does really feel like we don't have enough lands uh, in the deck overall. <clears throat> this is good. Play another one. So I guess I just play Lotus Field and sack these two. Don't mind if I take my the ocean surges, life thrives. Well, that was pretty cool. Um, this thing supposedly trades with Rotting Regisaur. There's not a way for me to double spell. At least not with those two. If I, <clears throat> if I play Cavalier, maybe I can't, like that Cavalier, maybe I can. Whoa. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I could have gone Cavalier of Gales to see what we draw. With the Arcbow at my side, I can't lose a fight. We're fit enough to survive. Hmm. It's kind of odd. But they're just going to let me kill their Vivian. Like let let me kill their Vivian and still block with Cavalier of Thorns. <clears throat> Thought they were either gonna minus or minus kill Cavalier of Thorns. Like I feel like just minus kill Cavalier of Thorns attack Kiora. It's like the way to go. All right, well, I think we got this from here.
All right, shuffle that back. Hmm. I'll kind of just take both of those. We could probably take another land. <clears throat> so then we have this to kill those. One drop ripples and grows. Sweet. Those flame sweeps were nice. With all those paradise druids. Riding Regisaur can definitely be a problem. So, like, what are they going to have that kills us? Like, Riding Regisaur, Questing Beast, Rankle, Vivian, and the Great Henge. Probably that kind of stuff. Everything besides Riding Regisaur was green as far as Aether Gust that I just named. And Rankle wasn't either, I guess. Um. Yeah, yeah, we could have played Niv Mizzet with just with the one land, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is a very good Niv Mizzet matchup. Niv Mizzet's not great against Vivian, but is okay against Murderous Rider. All right, let's play the gusts. I'm not sure how I really feel about Brazen Borrower either. Mm, it's pretty good. It's fine. All right, we're going to cut a Niv Mizzet. We're going to cut a Repudiate for the two gusts. And then I'm going to cut another gust for a Flame Sweep. <clears throat> and I think that's it. Hey, QQ, good afternoon. Looks like the deck heard me when I said we needed another land or two. We're kind of taking that to extreme measures here. This is better. Hmm. We'll put the basic forest back. Get a little risky. So it looks like we're shocking turn two. Hey, Barfin. Nope. Oh, no. Hmm. So obviously Paradise Druid is a better thing to kill because they're stuck on lands. All right, we're just gonna do that. But it's gonna say like we could kill the one one and then try to keep them from attacking with the Love Struck Beast. Hmm. If I play Kiora, I could, you know, Cavalier next turn, but then my Kiora is probably dead also. All 
All right, certainly looks like they have Murderous Rider. These are the Kioras leaves. They're from, you know, the War of the Spark. Um, there's the Murderous Rider. They're from the War of the Spark release. Down to two. Cool. Looks like I should have killed the 1-1. One, one. Didn't see another 1-mana card from them. Looks like I should have killed the 1-1. One, one. Cavalier of Flame. Basically, doesn't really. No, it's fine. All right, it's fine. Oh, cool, Spartacus. Cool. Yeah, he go. Yeah, Brazen Borrower is pretty awesome. Um, you may want to wait till. You know, maybe just go with the the budget version for now, and not use your four wild cards on, on them for right now. Because tomorrow, you know, we're gonna have Theros enter, and maybe things will change. You know, it's so may, maybe like after tomorrow, you'd want to use your wild cards on something else. So I'd, I'd recommend saving them just for right now. If I play Bow Crusher Giant, my opponent just murderous riders it and then untaps and questing beasts. And then I'm just kind of behind because then they have a questing beast that's attacking me. And um, I'm like trying to play my cavalier and stuff to, to stabilize and, and all that kind of stuff. Um can't really play another lotus field right now because then that turns off my lotus field in my hand obviously we wanted a, a blue or a red source for niv mizzet though oh no because i'm gonna have to add triple blue with this so that oh so i needed to grab the steam vents or yeah i need to grab steam vents i was thinking grab the green but yeah i can't can't actually cast niv mizzet right now Okay, let's see. trade Holy shit. 
should be winning this race. good that's pretty sweet I mean Niv Mizzet <clears throat> is a pretty devastating six drop I guess this is kind of awkward. Can't really cast Growth Spiral. And all of my Bone Crusher stuff. Yeah, yeah, so they probably wanted to Casualties of War the Lotus Field. The Lotus Field does have Hexproof, so not able to target this land. It definitely would be definitely be a lot worse of a land if you could if you could target it and blow it up. Alright, we are two and oh. Yeah, I probably should have. I probably should not have um, either gusted that one spot when I did. I should have waited. I mean, I guess to play around casualties of war. I didn't really consider casualties of war too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could do Nissa with the Lotus Field hexproof land. Yep. Yeah, so you can have a hexproof creature. Um, there's still a lot of sweepers in standard, and so, you know, the sweeper would still kill it. It's not like the land's indestructible. But, uh, you know, if you get to ultimate Nissa, then it would be. Rockville! But yeah, maybe you do, you know, you kind of have, like, a green-white deck. You have, like, God's Willing and stuff. Or, no, you don't, you don't want to need God's Willing. I guess you could use, like, a Sure. A Sure would make it indestructible. Oh, that's sub number four on the day, not five. Thanks, Rockville. What are we doing over here? Um, so it's basically three lands in these, and I think we can keep because of Bone Crusher Giant. The opt is basically a land. Should hopefully be a land. Wanted to opt this turn, but I guess we're gonna have to crush some bones. Crush some fervent champion bones. Cause, Cause one of those things represents three damage. You know, if if I don't kill one, they do four. If you kill one, they do one. It's a big difference in damage. Nope. 
This didn't go too well for us. I I never asked for one Delta. I need to play Bone Crusher Giant to block. Still just dying, though. Alright, so do I shock in and play Bone Crusher Giant? For me to continue on with the game, that's the only play. The reason not to do that would then, you know, my opponent would see the green mana. Is that really that big of a deal for sideboarding and everything? It's like right now we we do just look like an is it flash deck? Like do I really have a chance of winning this game anyway? Because I play Bone Crusher Giant, I'm just chump blocking Knight of the Oven Legion. I'm down to four. This thing puts me down to three. Like my next turn, I still got nothing. I'm still just just chump blocking and dying. All right, bringing in a lot of stuff. Cut those things. I don't love Brazen Borrower for this matchup because it doesn't block. It's just two mana bounce. Um, yeah, I think just like with this other stuff that we brought in, I'm just going to take it out. If they play rot, like the the reason to play Brazen Borrower is against Rotting Regisaur. Like that's that's the reason to play it is. They have Rotting Regisaur. And you get to use it to bounce a Rotting Regisaur with its trigger on the stack. I'm not sure if I want a second Cavalier Flame or second Niv Mizzet, to be honest. Maybe it's second Niv Mizzet. Probably should. We'll play one Borrower and we'll cut Niv Mizzet. We'll just play one Cavalier, one Niv Mizzet, and play one Borrower. Just kind of go with some ones. This is the problem with Lotus Field. We can't keep this hand. Um, this is just a one lander. We can't we can't play these unless we have two lands. <clears throat> um, I mean, we could hopefully draw a land turn one, but if we don't draw a land turn one, then we're we're just dead. You know, we just can't keep that. But that's like the reason why you kind of have to have like an extra land with Lotus Field. Because of hands like that. No, I mean you have to sac you have to sacrifice Lotus Field if you if you play it. You know, there you don't have you can't not sacrifice. Okay, so we're going to have turn one Breeding Pool, turn two Growth Spiral, put in Lotus Field, sack these two. So then at turn three, I want this land drop. Um, so I think this all means that we can't keep this.
yeah, I mean, you really should not play this unless you have two two other lands to sacrifice, because you got to sacrifice two lands. And you can choose Lotus Field to sacrifice if you want. Doesn't matter what two lands you sacrifice, but you gotta sacrifice two lands. Alright, so I can either play Sphinx or the Beast. I'm gonna play I'm gonna play the beast. Does seem like they probably have Black Lance Paragon for making this attack. I guess I'm priced into blocking still. <laughs> uh Yeah, I mean I'm... It's just such a great combo, that with Black Lance Paragon. Such a great combo. Um Surprised they didn't attack with the Crusader, though, as well. Because if I double block Crusader, they take out two things. But I guess they did, didn't want to make that trade. We have our four flame sweeps. We like that's just that's all we're looking for right now. Like that's what we have to find. Um, maybe I was supposed to just opt this last turn and just see if we find one of the flame sweeps. Oh, so they're just going to Ember Cleave. Right. So they Ember Cleave. <clears throat> that's 10, 11, 12, 13, minus 1. That's 12 damage. So I'm dead. I guess we have to block like this. So I guess I maybe should have just opted to look for Flame Sweep. We would not have found it. Yeah, really, this is definitely going to be a tough matchup for us, but just really great hands for them, both both games. <clears throat> Double Fervent Champion, both games. Um, that just puts so much pressure on you. This one wasn't, wasn't too close.
hello. So the Stormfist Crusader can do, getting you those extra cards. I just had it all. It's going to be an interesting matchup. How can we resolve our spells if this is Simic Flash? How can we use all these five drops? Shimmer. <clears throat> I don't know exactly who's playing Shimmer. So yeah, it is Flash that just has Shimmer, something you don't see too often. I don't think we have a better a better a better scenario than just jamming because you know if we don't cast stuff they could just have nightpack ambusher they obviously would have even the castle dantris So what do we have against Counterspell decks? We have a bunch of Disputes, some Sabotages, another Niv-Mizzet. Um, probably Spyglass Nissa, right? Spyglass Nissa doesn't sound so bad. You know, like this, obviously, like the countering the Lotus Field trigger would be nice if, if we could do that, but like just getting these things in play and then also repudiating or replicating is just so difficult. Um, kind of feeling like Borrower or Giant. Taking out one of those two.
I'm gonna take out giant. Even though maybe I should just be taking out more cavaliers, honestly. I like that opt. But I think Aether Gust is pretty important against Ambusher and Nyssa. There's no decks are zero skill. It's not it's not a thing. There's no de there's no <laughs> Magic is not a zero st skill game. Y'all can stop calling decks zero skill. Wish I didn't draw this forest. No, definitely gonna put back lands because you know my my game plan here is Nemiza. We need all the lands. Maybe I should have. Hmm. I should have just played the forest, I guess. You know, this is my best chance at playing Niv Mizzet next turn. All right, so we can have Lotus Field add red. That means we need three blue. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Rise, my elemental friend. I defy gods. Defying you will be easy. Nature flows with vigor. It was just a mess. I can't really wait till after they draw, because then they can counter it. Maybe I just should not have minus. I minus I could play borrower, but honestly that that could have been incorrect. Okay, at least they did have to tap the island, that's good. Sabotage is an awesome draw. You try my patience. Enough. I mean, the turn that I drew the forest, if I would have played it, or like the turn I drew the lotus field, if I would have played forest, I still the next turn I would have had to play lotus field. Um, Cease this aggression. It, I would have actually, I couldn't play Nim visit before now anyway.
Hmm. That's unfortunate. Ugh. Oh, we are drawing. Oh, okay, because we're drawing from from that. Okay, yeah, Gross Spiral does too. Okay, never mind. Not not unfortunate. Never mind. Never mind. I love to make a splash. Yeah, Spiral deals too. I was thinking it just, just dealt one, but it deals one for casting an instant, but then it also says draw a card, so it does a second point of damage. I don't feel like I really need that. One drop ripples and grows. Why do I love dragons? I just can't help. Get moving. <clears throat> um, I'm not. I wonder why is it black mana? I guess it did blue and black. I guess that's kind of weird. Okay, here we go. Let's try to get another Niv Mizzet early hand. You know, it wasn't that early. It was like turn six Niv Mizzet, but still, Niv Mizzet's pretty great. I thought channel points were going away. Are channel points just going to stay out forever? I thought it was like a thing over the holidays, like in the new year, it was, they are going away. Keeping this hand, the Sphinx is nice of letting us set up our our turns. Ugh. Basic forest just doesn't cast Niv Mizzet.
Kaya's, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Okay. So yeah, maybe I need to actually do something different with with uh, the points and everything then. Oh, I need lands. You're not a land. Kind of card that I wish we had in our sideboard. Feels like Ceratops would work really well in our sideboard. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about against Ceratops, honestly. I don't think I really have anything. I mean, I, I have Green Cavalier, but I, I'm not going to be able to cast Green Cavalier by the time this kills me. Are we two and two? Yeah, I guess so. Well, I guess I didn't sideboard against Ceratops too well. I guess our only real thing is like Lovestruck Beast. I mean, I guess the Bone Crusher Giants. Did I take out Bone Crusher, keep in Borrower? Did I do that? If so, I definitely should have taken out Bar. Like Borrower didn't really look that great. I probably should have taken out Borrower and and keep Bone Crusher the next time. But Ceratops does just seem like a card that we could we could definitely be playing for the flash matchup. Now um now we do have Niv Mizzet. It's possible that Ceratops is just kind of redundant because we have Niv Mizzet. But I didn't really consider them their Ceratops of like sideboarding against their Ceratops. And so if my borrower was Bone Crusher Giant, we would have at least had something, you know, like whenever they played. Ceratops would have been able to play Bone Crusher. Now they did have Borrower that would have bounced Bone Crusher, and then we would have had to try to resolve Bone Crusher again, and uh, that would have been really problematic. Um, um, yeah, those are those are all some pretty good reward things. I'll have to. Write those down and think about it. Um, anyway, but yeah, so so we got to do some cool stuff with the deck for sure. Uh, we definitely struggled against decks that were aggressive. I feel like that's that's where we we really struggled. You know, the red black deck that just looked like a nightmare of a matchup. But then even just them playing turn, you know, they had turn three Ceratops on the play. Because, you know, they had turn two Growth Spiral, turn three Ceratops on the play. And that was just much too fast for me. Um, I mean, you could, you know, I could have played Lovestruck Beast, I guess, also to, to go along with Bone Crushers and Lovestruck Beast. It wasn't something I was really thinking about too much. Um, repudiate... I don't know. This card's pretty meh. Feels like just more interaction would probably be better. Um, 
I don't really like Cavalier of Flame either. I just don't think, like... I don't, uh... Yeah, I think it's kind of like too many Cavaliers. And we could do we could be doing better stuff. Like, like is Cavalier of Flame better than Questing Beast? Like, probably not, honestly. And especially for, like, how it's, like, really difficult to cast. Probably just have Questing Beast. Or Shifting Ceratops. Um, or just more blue and green Cavaliers. You know, like, I'd, I'm not sure that, like, the Cavalier of Flames is an upgrade over Cavalier of Thorns, either. But I'd kind of like to switch that up. I don't really like how we have two four mana cards and seven five mana cards. I think that, that having a, a more balanced split would be nice. Obviously, like, our, you know, if we can, our goal is to go, you know, play Kiora and then curve that into a five mana card. But it's kind of rough whenever you have just only five mana cards in hand and, like, turn four you don't get to do anything because you just have, like, two or three or four Cavaliers in hand. So I think that just kind of diversifying, you know, having... Like, if these are if these are Questing Beast, which is also um, a good way to pressure uh, Planeswalkers. But if you have Questing Beast there... Then you you know you you can have stuff for turn four, stuff for turn five, stuff for turn six. Because as we know, like you don't always just curve out perfectly in Magic, so it's it's good to have a nice variety. Um, last thing, like the Brazen Borrower, this is a deck that's just always behind, and so I, I kind of feel like I kind of feel like I didn't love Brazen Borrower either. I, I wish Brazen Borrower and Repudiate, I think, were maybe some better interaction i'm not sure exactly what that is like maybe that's lava coils maybe that's um i don't know maybe that's even just just more impactful creatures that still trigger kiora like uh gruel spellbreaker that's like a four four that's a better blocker at three mana um it's nice it the gold cards you kind of want to stay away from the gold cards with lotus field it's nice having you know something that costs a lot of blue a lot of green you know like that kind of stuff a card that costs like blue green, like growth spiral or like replicate, is harder to cast. Um, and that would be the same with Gruel Spellbreaker. Could just be could just be playing main main deck Lovestruck Beasts, honestly. Honestly, if these like borrowers are just Lovestruck Beasts, like you're not gonna be able to attack with them all the time, but they trigger Kiora. And they're just a lot better blocker. I could definitely see just having that also, just having Lovestruck Beasts. I'm not sure. Maybe some more flame sweep, like flame sweep lava coil stuff. I don't know. Um, just just some things to think about uh, for those of y'all playing the deck. Yeah, Ceratops. Yeah, I like Ceratops. It's a good good card. It's a good card. All right, but there we go. So there's Teamer Kiora. Pretty fun to play though. I liked it. And we got to do some crazy stuff with Lotus Field. You know, like when the deck was going, it was sure going. And that was that was pretty cool. All right. But those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Hit that like button over there. And don't forget to leave some comments. Um, let me know what you're really excited about with Theros coming up here. What cards do you want me to play um, in Theros right away? But that's it here for Team Kiora and our last standard deck before Theros. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.